Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back again. So in today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to a video called What Did Godzilla's Alpha Call Really Sound Like? This video was made by Goji Center, and this video will also be presented in the form of an aftermath war simulation. So with that being said guys, let's go ahead and check this out. You're here because you want to listen to what no other person has heard before. Godzilla's Alpha Roar. Yeah. Not only will this video reveal this sound, but will also explain how loud it really could get. Woo, okay. Do if they hear it, make sure to stick with us to the end to witness a simulation of what will happen to planet Earth if Godzilla ever decides to unleash the entire fury of Titan Wrath on the planet. Ah, oh, man. Channel, make sure you smash this is going to be a good day today. Number one, what are alpha calls? Woo. Before we begin to understand the deadly consequences of hearing Godzilla's call to arms, we need to understand the basics. What is an Alpha Titan? Oh, so I wanna go home! I can't wait to voice over that shit. <laughs> Alpha Titans, the first being Ghidorah, an invasive species whose goal was to terraform the Earth and destroy humanity. Yep. The second is Kong, a Titan whose defiant nature and high levels of intelligence granted him Alpha status in the Hollow Earth and Skull Island. Mm -hmm. The next Alpha is, believe it or not, Mothra. Also known as the Queen of the Monsters. Woo! In moth form, Mothra is a so pretty. I swear to God. Godzilla, meaning that she is the only I love what they did with Mothra, so honestly. Who has an exclusive alliance with Godzilla? And finally, the G-Man, our current alpha. That G-Man. One way to distinguish. Oh, I just from I'm telling you, man, that burning Godzilla scene every time. By another Titan's alpha call. This call is usually a command broadcasted to other Titans, giving them specific orders. Mm -hmm. The perfect example of this happened in 2019 during the events of King of the Monsters, where Ghidorah commanded all of the Titans to rise from hibernation and destroy densely populated locations. One of my this favorite one scenes in this movie, hands down, on God. Surface. The only Titans unaffected by this call were Godzilla, Mothra, and Kong. Yeah, this alpha he chose to ignore it. Commands to Titans as well, such as telling them to return to hibernation or to halt an assault on a target. But how exactly does this alpha call work? Number two, how powerful is this alpha call? Oh, this is going to be good. Some official sources provided by Monarch lets us know that Godzilla's roar can reach an astounding 174 decibels. Woo! To put this into perspective, 150 decibels is enough to tear your eardrums. Oh! And between 185 to 200 decibels is enough to kill you. Oh! Godzilla's roar isn't something you want to be close to. Bruh! So let's talk about oh! Oh, fuck! Alright, I might have to actually sound. evacuate now. For a sound to be heard or felt around the world, this oh, oh, man! The loudest sound ever recorded in history. Let's quickly My ears are shaking just August thinking about 7, that. 1833, the day where the whole planet felt the destruction of an entire island thanks to this guy. This right here is, or was, a giant volcano that blew up, causing the immediate destruction of this entire perimeter. This okay. blast was heard almost 3,000 miles away and felt all over the planet for five days straight. Five days straight? Oh, God. probably felt it due to spikes in atmospheric air pressure. So I can't imagine. Godzilla's roar be? Well, there isn't an exact number, but... It is <laughs> he scratched his butt. 310 decibels at the source. This sound is stronger than the one emitted by the SAR bomb, which was approximately 214 decibels. Oh. Assuming that Godzilla got anywhere near this level, this would be more than enough to amplify its effect around the globe. Sound travels at around so Godzilla would basically just kill everybody on sight every time he roars like that. Jeez, almost 1k miles per hour. Hours for all Titans around the world to hear this call. 
Realistically, right. however, the roar would only be felt past the 3,000 mile distance range and take a total of up to 30 plus hours for the air pressure changes to be felt worldwide. Woo. If you are standing anywhere near Godzilla while he's roaring, you would probably be torn up from the shockwave. <laughs> yeah, the everybody would be dead, seriously. If you somehow manage to survive the initial blast. If you are within 40 miles of this roar, then there's a chance you might feel a shockwave and suffer eardrum injuries. Damn! To compile data for our simulation, we need one last vital piece of info. What would be the real use of this alpha call? Number three, what would trigger another Titan apocalypse? If anything were to piss Godzilla, Woo! it would be an imbalance. I love future. this part he starts to run. Oh, man. Humans are really good at provoking this. He was not playing. Saw that Apex Cybernetics was involved in the creation of Mecha Godzilla, mm -hmm. a weapon that, in a way, resuscitated Ghidorah, the one Titan whose goal was to terraform the Earth. Yeah. Additionally, the destruction of natural resources, the pollution of oceans, and so on, could get to critical levels enough to anger Godzilla. Remember that this Alpha is the embodiment of the force of nature. It's his Beautiful job to shot. establish order and keep balance of power and equilibrium on the planet. But will this I don't know if I'm tripping or did I not Godzilla see this in the movie? The Damn, I gotta rewatch it again. No. In the graphic novel Godzilla Dominion, we saw Godzilla call all the Titans to hibernation yep. after dealing with some insubordinate Titans. Yep, definitely, man. Sleep, you can be sure that the G-Man will wake them up. This has got to be a movie. It was so worth being made into a movie. Next, what would this roar Composition. Be to? Alpha roars have to consist of an arrangement of different wavelengths to be heard properly. Let's listen to Ghidorah's alpha call. I love, I love to zap a call. Sounded really see, nice. This call starts out with low vibrations and ends with a higher pitch, which consists of all the different wavelengths necessary yeah. <laughs> to be heard and felt by every single Titan, whether they were capable of hearing or not. Low frequency sounds can actually be felt, not heard, by other animals and in this case, Titans. We now have all the information necessary for the simulation. All right. Godzilla's alpha roar. Oh man. All right. My body's shaking. I'm ready for this. Thank God I have no headphones on. This is why I don't wear them no more for this reason. It is the year 2030, six years after the destruction of Hong Kong. During this time period, the Northern Pacific suffered severe oil contamination. I'm scared, bro. I don't know. I just feel like something's coming. Or my fault, something's coming. Antarctica's fauna population is on the brink of eradication due to receding ice sheets and failed resolutions. Between I can't even talk, bro. Right. That's how nervous I'm feeling. Falling under Woo! military jurisdiction. All remaining contained titans are scheduled for termination. Monarch outposts are reporting strange behavior originating from an undesignated location in the mid-Pacific. Combined military forces surround the area encircling Titanus Gojira. Come on, come on, come on. <sighs> nearby ships, disrupt their communication systems, and inflict a severe number of casualties. Radiation signatures in all Titan enclosures in the surrounding area begin to rise. The first Titan breach report suggests that the remaining Titans will now show hostile behavior. Oh boy. The additional Titans I thought I thought it was gonna be like a loud ass like high pitched war or something about to just pop up, but never mind, I did that for nothing. <laughs> command to exterminate earth well a few lesser titans are successfully terminated the remaining stronger titans would have detected the eradication order from the alpha within hours the nations of the world join forces one last time to confront the titan assault the final war for planet earth has begun oh man what else do you think 
you think would happen if Godzilla unleashes his alpha roar? Let us know in the comments. Hell's about to break loose, I can tell you that. This video, and remember to use this before you play. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna check that out. And we'll see you in the next What was that? Uh-oh. Uh, in, in the next video. <laughs> Please be okay out there. I think he died. Uh, yeah, that was something else. Godzilla's alpha call at the end of this video. Oh my God, like low key, that was creepy as hell. There was a video kind of like how they did it, except that this was purely just based on Godzilla 2014. But when it came to the roar, it was like an obvious remix of Godzilla's original roar. So they didn't really like do anything too new with Legendary Godzilla's roar. But just the fact that Godzilla's war alone can simply just kill you if you're just near Godzilla, that is terrifying enough. And it's funny too, because as I'm sitting here watching all these MonsterVerse films, I'm always asking myself like, yeah, what would really happen if all these people that are just next to Godzilla or other creatures, like what would just happen? Like, would the ears just like bleed out or like, would they just be deaf? Like what would happen? But now that we know, I'm gonna just get the fuck out of here. I'll make sure that I take lots of pictures and videos of Godzilla as I'm running away. But until then, I need my ears. Goji Sensor made a fire ass video once again. Make sure you guys subscribe and check out their channel. Thank you guys for watching. And if you guys are new to this channel, please smash like button, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell. And I will see you guys the next time. Peace.